The Haas GPS system is an easy to use protection system for your car. The ability to keep an eye on where your vehicle is. Maybe uh, the son or daughters borrow the car again and uh, you want to make sure they're where they said they went, among other things. How about for business purposes? Managing your fleet. All kinds of great opportunities. President and CEO of Haas GPS is Jeff Haas, his own self. Hey Jeff, welcome back into tomorrow. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Thanks for having me on your show. It's a pleasure. What's new with Haas GPS these days? You know, we recommend it on the program on a regular basis, one of our remote vehicles. We've got Haas GPS installed, so we know that it's where it's supposed to be. Even as we speak here, we check back and make sure that it's at the Fort Lauderdale Extended Airport parking, uh, and that if somebody uh, is messing with it, we know. That's correct. You'll know exactly when that car moves. If That's for sure. What's cool about that, of course, among other things, that you do some unique things, first of all, it's American-made, as I understand Correct. it, right? Made in the USA. Very good. And we can do some unique things. Got some great features and, and options and other capabilities. Uh, we don't have, I don't think, the option for auto starting the car remotely, but you can. Yes, you can. Uh, there's all sorts of neat things that we can do. But uh, among other things, just keeping an eye on the vehicle and setting a geofence. Tell us how that all works, because I think that'll help a lot of folks. The geofence is set up by uh, your putting your point of interest that you want to protect your car at, mm -hmm. either your home, your work, or you can put in, you know, 10 geofence on the consumer product, 99 on the commercial product. Wow. So then you can set your geofence from a mile to whatever you want to have it mm -hmm. be. You'll know when your car moved out of that radius. So it's a really unique feature, great feature to have, and... You don't have to worry about your car if it moves. True. It might be just as simple as uh, around the neighborhood, you know, that, that, that it's okay if the kids borrow the car to go to school and to go to the store, but you want to know if they've gone more than 10 miles beyond that. Yeah. You know, where are you going and you didn't tell me. You yeah, know? when your teenage driver decides he's going to go to a party 30 miles away, you yeah. want to know that. Exactly. Or if they're driving perhaps in the middle of the school day where they should be in school, Oops, you know, they right. had an extended lunch. What's that about? I mean, there's all sorts of things. Folks say, uh-oh, big brother is watching or dad's watching, whatever. But that's part of it. It's, it's, we have the technology. You want to protect your vehicle. You want to protect your kids, for that matter. Absolutely. You want to protect your kids. It's not so much a protection device as that you want to protect your kids. So if they're not home and they say they're home or, you know, someone took, took your kid like it's happening all the time on yeah, the road today. Yeah. So it's really an important device to have. And if you explain it to your kids, they'll understand. For sure. Now, what are some of the other common features that most of your customers are saying, I, I can't live without this? Uh, speed parameter. Oh, yes. So they want to know when they're violating a speed, you know, issue. So if you can set it at, say, you don't want your kid going over 40 miles an hour, or we have fleet services where a shuttle bus should not be going over 40 miles an hour, we set a speed parameter, and then the, the person in charge will know that their car was uh, driven that fast, and if they have a group of people in the car, it's a liability for them. Mm -hmm. We do that. On my employees' cars, we set it at 70 miles an hour, and if they go over 70, we have a discussion about it. Yes, I'll bet. And, a, and, a rather stern one, perhaps. Yeah. A very very stern one. So we're, it's, it's there for their protection. Yeah. And it's a really good thing to have. So you know when people, especially in a business atmosphere, you know when they're driving the way they should be driving. True. Now, how do you get notified, for example, if someone's speeding over a preset yeah. limit that you've set? You'll get a text message to your cell phone and an email to your computer. And you have the option, if you don't want a text message, you don't have to have it. Right. But typically, everybody wants the option to know if they're not at work, they can get on their cell phone and know where their employee is, where their kid is, and if they're over the speed parameter, if they yeah. left the geofence area. So it's really unique that you can get on both both devices. Oh, sure. And the fact that you can choose to not be texted, as you mentioned, is one thing. But right. something like that, you want to yeah. know. I mean, that's the whole reason for having it. Absolutely. And you want to be able to get them on the cell phone and say, slow down, Rob. You know, your vehicle just told on you. You're going 72 and a 55. That, you know, where, where's the fire? You know, <laughs> that, that is absolutely correct. And that's what it's designed for. That's what it's made for. Gotcha. Now, tell me real quick in our remaining minute yeah, or so, yeah, uh, yeah. your new effort here with fleets. Yeah. Our new efforts with fleets, we've got a fleet system out there where you can set as many as 99 points of interest. So if you have a delivery service, you'll know when everybody gets to their delivery point automatically. So you know when they got there, when they left. Uh, you can also measure idle time. So if you know if the guy sit on the side of the road idling too long, because there's the state laws that don't allow you to idle for very long without getting a violation. Well, not to mention the fact that if you're paying his salary, you don't want him idle very long. Right. How about getting those deliveries done? Yeah, that's right. You want the deliveries done and you don't want to get a ticket. Yeah. So all those things are new, and it has a ton of features. You know, wow. maintenance, maintenance. you can have every different maintenance feature you want done in your car, so you put a mileage in when it needs to be serviced. Oh, that's very handy, too. Yeah. And it's going to auto-remind you about yeah. oil changes due or whatever. That is correct. 
Very cool. See, you have the technology. American-made yeah. goodies here, American too. American-made goodies. What are we talking expense-wise? Can you give me a range yeah. for, like, the individual for a consumer yeah. on up? It's six ninety-five uh, plus installation on either unit. The commercial one usually runs out to be a little bit less because you're going to buy multiple units at a time. Yeah, if you've got a fleet. Uh, you're going to buy a fleet. Although so. some families have fleets, I'm sure, too. <laughs> and we have some families that do have fleets. That's correct. Yeah, they should qualify for fleet discounts because they got six kids or whatever, and they're all driving age, you know, that and is, pulling your hair out. But <laughs> That is correct. That is correct. <laughs> Love it. Jeff, always a pleasure to chat with you, and, and keep innovating. Keep doing the cool things that are yeah. helping not only parents but businesses and just consumers in general keep an eye on their assets. I will keep working on it. Terrific. Thanks, thanks for having me on the show. Our pleasure. Visit HaasGPS.com. It's H-A-A-S-G-P-S.com. Two A's for extra credit there. HaasGPS.com. We're back with more from Las Vegas and CES 2009. I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.